utilize those conical cutters on geometry can improve uh, machining by 90% and reduce the number of cutters. How many of you are as fascinated about this machine as I am? Well, if you're not, you are about to be. And that's why I got Keith here today, because this machine is fascinating. We got molds beside us. We got a hyper mill working. We got two machines to talk about in one. You don't know the details of that yet, but this DX224DM has a lot of brilliant details that go into it. So Keith, let's immediately hit the audience with some big facts, something that makes them want to watch this video and go, oh my gosh, I had no idea. How okay. can this machine help them? Okay, we have over about 100 machines of the double column machines in the Michigan Windsor market. This is a five axis machine. Uh, we offered in two types, one for aerospace with um, HSK 63. And this machine here has a Kessler head on it. It's got an HSK 100 spindle, 16,000 RPM, 54 horsepower machine, continuous five axis. So it's a double column machine we build it in three different models. This one here covers an 80 by 60 size work envelope. It handles about 18,000 pounds on the table load. And the um, machine is equipped with a Heidenheim 640 controller. So the machine's designed to machine five axis continuous as we're machining a mold right now, programmed in open mind. And we programmed an insert sleeve in there as well. So this is where we'll bring in another machine component, but it really a vacuum fit. So the machine can handle 18,000 pounds. Its feed rates are about 800 inches per minute. And uh, the machine weighs 58,000 pounds. Well, Keith, you have thrown a lot of numbers at me. And my brain sometimes absorbs all of it and sometimes it falls right out again. But I heard weight. So it's gonna have the strength I need probably for mold and die. I heard speed, I heard rigidity in the HSK itself. The overall size of the machine allows me to do large parts. If I'm someone watching right now and I'm entertaining the idea of going, well, it darn sure looks cool. Would I be the one to buy it? Where do you think really, I mean truly, you mentioned height and height as well. You mentioned hyper mill as well. It all goes together, but really truly, is it about the size of the parts I can put in it? Is it about the speed of the machine? Is it about the longevity of the machine? Yeah. Where do you think if I'm watching right now, I go, oh man, I gotta get one now because of those things. Yeah, I, I think it's all of the above. Um, the value proposition here is longevity, the reliability of a YCM product. Um, the head is a German made product. So we offer one built by YCM for the aerospace with a five axis, uh, HSK 63, and with an HSK 100, uh, 16,000 RPM spindle, we can go from roughing, semi, finishing, all in one. We're showing molds today, but this could easily be an aerospace component. It could be a defense component. It could be a part production pr component, but it's got a, a good size table, good load capacity. The accuracies that you'll see here, within a few tenths, the blends are perfect. Uh, it's a great overall machine depending on the application. Well, we need to have that accuracy, right? When we're talking about molds and you mentioned other yeah. industries as well. So it's important not to box someone and say it's only for that, right? But having that style of precision knows that it, I can also utilize it in other areas, especially the world we live in right now. I mean, how many of you over the last few years have taken a machine that had done something for five years and immediately switched it over to another aspect of our industry based on what was booming at that time, right? And this machine is built for that. You've already said rigidity, speed, precision, all these fun buzzwords yeah. that we like to talk about. And how important is the five axis head on a table like that allowing us to do more because nobody wants to take a part that size and move it to five or six different machines. Absolutely. The more we can do in one, I mean, that saves time. It makes money, it creates productivity, right? Yeah, we're all about reducing the setups. Uh, we live in a time right now that the frequencies of purchases by companies is becoming less. Manpower is at, uh, it's very difficult to find. And when you can incorporate several operations and not have to take the part off the machine, be able to shorten up the cutter, be able to increase those feed rates. It's time, it's money, it's savings, lead time, quality. It's all here in this machine. So can we take a moment, Keith? Because for those of you watching right now, 
we have another video with some extremely high precision. And if you take a look at the mold in the machine, there's actually, a, a, for lack of better terms, a hole in it that's gonna be filled. But it's not really a hole, it has a purpose. But can we talk quickly about the mold itself, this mold, and then segue into our other video we're yeah, making absolutely. and talk about that precision. Yeah, so Open Mind uh, programmed this job for us. Um, they're using conical cutters. A lot of times when we can put conical cutters into a, a mold and the, and the geometry allows for it, um, we can save 90% machining time and reduce the number of tools that uh, would normally be used for a job. So that is really one of the big features. Uh, yeah, so the, the Open Mind uh, offers smooth overlapping along with conical cutters and uh, being able to utilize those conical cutters on geometry can improve uh, machining by 90% and reduce the number of cutters. 90%? Yeah, 90%. 90%? That is a lot of percent. So you mentioned one word where you're blending. So now I have Adam Sandler's movie in my head. But on top of that, you mentioned smooth... Overlapping. There it is, smooth <laughs> overlapping. I like that very much. That allows us to do more and I like that as well. But shall we take this party over to the other machine and talk about the precision and accuracy? Absolutely. So for everyone watching, if you haven't seen that video, we have another one that talks about precision and accuracy and how these two companies come together to bring it as a full circle project. Now, neither Keith nor I love the spotlight, but Keith was nice enough to join us today and be a part of the spotlight on MTD CNC. Yeah. So please put your hands together and thank Keith for joining us because there's such a wealth of wisdom in there. Keith, thank you so much yeah. for explaining this DX224DM to us, the thank audience, you, and everyone involved. You are amazing. Thank you.